Speaking of delusion, Harry and Meghan, what about trying to hit up the President of the United States to hitchhike your way back to the United States? And unsurprisingly, POTUS, who I'm pretty sure always flies with a full plane, didn't have any room for Harry on the way back from the Queen's funeral. Paul Murray, in this world, there is sheer audacity, uh, there's cheek, there's chutzpah, and then there's the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Harry and <laughs> Meghan. So after the Queen's funeral, uh, they roll up and they ask the Bidens, by the way, could we have a hitch a ride with you back to the United States on Air Force One? Well, the White House had absolutely no difficulty in turning them down flat immediately. And I can't work out whether they're naive or simply crass because this great sense of um, entitlement sits very ill with people on both sides of the Atlantic because I haven't been on Air Force One, but I have been on the press plane that follows behind wherever the president goes on Air Force One. And there are very strict protocols um, at work. Um, for instance, um, the pool reporter who goes on board Air Force One to, to write a pool story for everybody about what happens on the journey, who the pre president sees, who he talks to, and so on, he pays for his fare. He or she, the pool reporter, pays for his fare. When, when the president uh, has members of his family who are not part of the official party, he pays their fare. If he has friends on board, he pays their fare on Air Force One. And if he uses Air Force One for campaigning or for a political reason, a party political reason, he then pays his way. So there are strict protocols for them to think they can just hitch a ride. What were they going to do, Paul, when they got to Washington, to Andrews Air Force Base? Were they going to hope that one of their uh, star-studded friends with a private yacht, a private uh, jet, uh, a G5 or something was there? so they could make the next leg uh, uh, to California. And all the time, of course, parading their um, ecological, their green credentials, uh, their concern for the environment, uh, while at the same time hopping around the world on private planes. Yeah, as you say, sort of, you know, a whole new version of hubris, the idea that you'd be saying to the President of the United States, hey, mate, can you give me a lift? By the way, can you go to the other side of the country first and drop me off? Yeah, 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 I know you've got stuff to do, but, you know, we've, we've, we've got a documentary to make. Now, you mentioned a yacht. Yeah, well, this uh, you, know, is a, you know, this is, the, this is the most famous aircraft in the world. And, of course, the security conditions of the security arrangements are massive and quite rightly so because there are a lot of mad people out there we know that i mean to actually think that they could uh bum a ride if i can put it like that in that way with potus and jill uh, jill biden his wife on the basis of knowing them but of course this does tie in with uh, the uh, widely reported and believed by people like me that um uh, Meghan Markle, uh, from the Duchess of Sussex, has a political ambitions. And if she does, they're all on the blue side of, of, of the map. They're all on the Democratic Party side. And she probably sees herself with a, uh, uh, with a political role in the future, uh, whether as a congresswoman or a, a senator even. Who can say uh, the limits of her ambition? Because I'm sure they're great.